for the Asian markets, it's largely mixed. We have the Hang Seng, which is up around 80 points. Uh, Taiwanese index absolutely flat. The MHI has issued a notice for recovery of 124 crores in subsidy. On the way up, the near-term upside level is about 100 points out. That is 18, 730 is the near-term upside level. We are witnessing uh, low demand in the market compared to what the business was planned to. I think it's going to be the next 24 months before we start seeing significant volume of uh, uh, green hydrogen or... Here we have it, the first tick on the Nifty, very quiet, absolutely flat. I think investors would have to remain focused on those sectors which are seeing some kind of an upward earnings estimate trajectory. I think in the Q1, I am expecting industry growth to be close to 10% overall. Their facility in Montreal, Canada has now been classified as official action indicated or OAIs. Uh, things have been very, very quiet since morning and it slipped now in the last one hour. MTM gains have come on gold. Currency and gold have been revalued up. For the markets, they continue to remain very choppy. We have 16 points of an uptick on the Nifty. Well, that was a day so far. You're with us here on the last hour of trade, closing bell. We're coming to you live from the CNBC TV 18, Motila Oswal Studios. I'm Prashant. With me, my colleagues, Reema. And Nigel are joining in the studios as well, guys. Hi, good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. afternoon. I think we can use a lot of adjectives to describe the market. Most of it is in the uh, sort of, you know, uh, tepid and range bound Boring. and not very much. Boring. Boring. <laughs> Never use that word, Nigel. <laughs> use everything. Never that. <laughs> All right. Well, you know, you've got the market uh, doing uh, nothing. I mean, 25 point change on the index and uh, things are. Uh, where, I mean, 16,000, uh, 18,600, 620, I mean, uh, round about there. And it's not looked at any point since the morning that it wants to do uh, anything large, up or down at all. Uh, so, uh, so, I mean, the moves are in single stocks and there are so many stocks both up and down. Uh, by the way, the market breadth is closed. It was almost one is to one now. It was, this was, you know, much better in the first couple of hours of trade. Now, uh, on the Nifty, just two levels on the upside, 18,730 uh, 18, is basically uh, is where the Nifty will meet the upper end of the channel. It's a rising steep channel, and that is 18,730. And supports come in at about 18,420. Uh, it doesn't look like we, we'll kind of go towards either of those two ranges. And the U.S. markets were shut yesterday. Uh, Friday was a big day. NASDAQ was up 2%, and I think we'll just see if you have any follow-through uh, moves left in the U.S. markets. Futures for the last two days have been trading absolutely flat. Reema. Well, it's still very quiet in the U.S. futures. The Dow is up 70 points. European markets not doing too much. The French index CAC is down about 0.4%. Uh, the DAX is up a bit. The FTSE is down a little bit, down 0.1%. So not too much action taking place in Europe, at least in early trade. For our own markets, we've got the Fin Nifty expiry and the two Nifty companies, Apollo uh, Adani Ports and Apollo Hospitals, are yet to report their numbers, so the street will be eyeing them. But um, you know, even as the index is not doing too much, you've got a lot of individual movers. So Force Motors, we've been talking about it since morning. Munjal Shova just reported numbers, big jump in the profitability. The stock has surged. Nucleus Software. 10%, 20% up on Friday, 20% up on Monday, and it's followed it up with another 10% up move on nuclear software. Even Interglobe Aviation is flying pretty high. And so many financial stocks like Ujjivan Small Finance Bank, IDFC First Bank, Equitas, SFP, l and Finance Holding, all these stocks are trading at fresh highs right now. Well, uh, Rima, you know, the last uh, 55 minutes may not be so boring. That's the hope, at least, because the Nifty Financial Services Index, that will play out expiry. And you pull up the intraday chart, in the last 30 minutes, the Nifty Financial Services Index has moved virtually to the day's high. So will there be some fireworks? Remember, these are the financials. You have the Bajaj Twins in there. HDFC Limited as well is the big weight in there, which is not part of the Nifty Bank, but it's part of the Nifty Financial Services Index. Now, I'm looking at the options data, and the positioning is such that on uh, the Nifty Financial Services Index, 19,620, 19,625, that's the crucial level that the bears are looking to defend. And that's because 19,600 call has the highest amount of open interest. It's the most active event today. And the premium at the start of today was around 21 rupees. So that's why 19,620, you need to keep an eye out on that mark. For the time being, the Nifty Financial Services Index has made a bit of an up move. Can it move up? Well, it appears that at least this Tuesday could be far more entertaining or far more exciting than the previous couple of Tuesdays because the Nifty Financial Services Index 
didn't move much, but today it's giving that sense that maybe it's about to make a bit of a move. Bangla, what else? Well, Nigel, you know, doing nothing is not particularly a bad thing because when you're doing nothing, you're sitting and absorbing all the other, uh, you know, cues that are coming by. And that's perhaps what our market's doing just beneath the all-time high for our indices as well. 18,636, that's where we are. Um, the options were positioned themselves for, you know, around uh, consolidation around that 18,600 mark itself. The bulls writing the 18,600 put, the bears writing the 18,650 and 18,700 calls as well. So this is a range where everyone is looking at expiry, at least in this week itself. But a bunch of stocks doing extremely well right now. We're seeing a big move uh, on Infosys that has moved to the high point of trade. That's as far as the front line is concerned. But even in the broader markets, we have PFC and REC, which have moved higher. Aditya Birla Capital, which has moved higher. And also, at the same time, we've seen HDFC Life move higher as well. So maybe at an index level, it looks like not a lot has happened. But individual stocks, there is a lot beneath the surface. Okay, that's uh, indeed what's happening. Let's tell our viewers then what we've lined up on the show. Ujjivan Small Finance Bank and RBL Bank are surging in trade. What's aiding the up move? Details coming up on the show. From the pharma space, auto pharma is higher in trade post a good quarter. What are brokerages saying? Details coming up on the show. Campus Activewear, Repco Home Finance also reacting to their quarterly numbers. Key highlights from the earnings coming up and closing bell. We'll also be joined by Vinay Jai Singh of JM Financial Services. He'll be taking us through his view on the markets as well as the individual stocks and sectors that he's bullish and bearish on. All this and much more in the next 60 minutes. All right. Uh, well, uh, that's the lineup here. How should you position yourself?